Hello there, I am Jai Growth more Eastbound. In the last part, we took on trying to get the Sword of Kings, and it, I got one, and it only took me less than two hours, so I was really happy. It was a really hard time. I, at the first, I had a really hard time finding the item, but then I just realized I, um, if I leveled up a little bit, you know, it would help me defeat the enemies faster and not give me as, as much trouble. We also um, went through the rest of um, this, uh, this Stonehenge base area. And we went through this room, everyone was trapped, but then we uh, went to the next room, which was a Starman Deluxe, was there. We defeated that one, and everyone's free now after we defeated the Starman Deluxe. So let's talk to everyone, real quick. I expected there to be about a 7% chance that you would rescue me. I just thought it was a good opportunity to meet Mr. Saturn. And I also got to meet Dr. Andon and see you. What? You, you're looking for the book of Overcoming Shyness? I returned it to the Odinette Library, or one at Library. I'll start going at one it because actually it kind of has like the number in it then so if you say one it instead of own it. So it's in one it. It's in one it. Okay. Um, please use the book to help the shy uh, tender tribe. Anyway, back because I knew you, I had an incredible experience. Wow. I was kidnapped by some of Gygas toadies. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Kidnapped happy. Rescued. I give you ribbon. Paul, I got the Saturn ribbon. Cool. Which is a really good item. I don't know who I'm going to equip it to yet, actually. I want to talk to this guy over here. Come on, you're just walking away. You have to exit the room and come back in or something. Is that it? Because it looks like it ha that's what I have to do. Yeah, okay, cool. It worked okay. I want to talk to this person. I was scared, but I knew it. I'd be safe if I cur if I courageously let, let just sat here and waited long enough. That's what I thought, but I began to lose hope. I'm so glad you saved me, after all. Yeah, hey, you're welcome. Anytime. Let me get through here, Mr. Saturn. Gosh. Now I want to talk to Mr. Andronance. Since your imp since our imprisonment is imprisonment is now over, I want to start on the phase distorter as soon as possible. Oh, I almost forgot to thank you. Thank you. Don't worry about us. You've got important things uh, to do. You're right. Here's Tony, by the way, Jeff's friend. Jeff, Jeff, buddy. Oh my, oh my, oh me, oh my. You. You came to rescue me, pal. Oh, Ness. I'm Tony. I'm Jeff's best friends. I've known him for the longest time. Yeah. I, think so. I still think he's gay, but that's okay. He's a gay character. I, uh, f Ah, that's what I get for calling him gay on screen. No, I'm just kidding. I've done that before. But, like, I didn't read the first party dog. So let me try that again. Mr. T. I was kidnapped by, well, milk and cows on my farm. I don't... I didn't think that they'd get a... That's some... Uh, by kidnapping all of us, all of me, I don't know. And finally, there's one more person, and I wanted to, f I wanted to talk to them. Jeez, here's a hippie. Okay, yeah, I'm the happy. This is the happiest moment of my life. No matter what happens, I will live, live, live ten thousand years. Thanks for all that you've done. You're welcome. So now with all that done, we're gonna use the exit mouse, which I think Paul has still. Yeah, okay, cool. We're gonna exit out of here. So we don't have to go all th backtrack, you know, already at the top of the ladder, that's awesome. And let's just avoid these enemies right here. Let's get back to Dr. and Donut's uh, lab. We could get that magic up fly, but then we're also going to go straight into the rev revitalite, revitalizing sheet machine. Revitalite. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I said, okay. A revitalizing machine. Okay, device. Okay. Yeah, cool. Good night's sleep. Yeah, let's heal. And just to make sure I'm not homesick, I want to do some, check something real quick. Not check, check. I meant status. Okay, not Ness isn't homesick, so that's good. So now we're going to head back to one net actually, to, and go to the library to, uh, well, I don't know. We're going to have fun. And use PSI teleport here, because I think this is a long straightaway. Ness teleport alpha to one net. There we go. Right, I was right, cool. Okay, here we're back in one Pretty cool, huh? We haven't been here in a while. Okay, so let's see. I'm, I think I have to sell some items because, yeah, my inventory for everyone's looking pretty big, which is a bad thing because I want to have. I want to get rid of the items that I don't really need. I guess we could sell right here, right? Oh, we have to take our order. Okay. Oh, back when items weren't that expensive. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's go to the 
let's go to the you know the drugstore or something where I can actually sell stuff. Which the drugstore is next door actually. Yay! Ah, good old times. Okay, let's see here. Hi, come in, come in. Okay, yeah, sell. Object to sell. Um, I guess sell the KC power honestly for nineteen dollars. You want to sell? Yes. Okay, thanks a bunch. Okay, so, uh, what else do you want to sell? Okay, buy. I mean, I mean sell. There we go. Um, yes. Keep the spicy jerky. Keep the FPS I care more. Let's sell the super bomb. We don't really need that. We can sell it for one hundred ninety nine dollars, which is nice. Uh, yes, there's stuff we can still do sell. I think we're good in S's inventory. Um, Paula. I don't want to sell anything out of this way really, because all these enemies, all these items are very helpful. I guess it's Paula. Who's that Paula's? Yeah, that's Paula's. Okay, Jeff's. Um, I don't think oh, I can sell. I can sell the diamond band because I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't. Um, give that to Pooh actually. So let's get sell the diamond band. Why not? So yes. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That was awesome. That was actually a really good item to sell because they don't. Because Paul already has one, Ness already has one, and then we gave um, the Trixie, the I think it was the Trixie or the Pixie. I think it was the Pixie bracelet, and we gave it equipped it to Jeff in the last part, so that's good. Okay, what else? Um, I think that's about it. I want to keep the hype room just in case, and then yeah, Pooh's in I want to keep the brainstone, of course. And the Four Horn of Life, the Sword of Kings, of course, after it took me that long to find it, you know? After a drop item. After picking up from a drop item occurrence, you know? <laughs> and then Brace of Kings, I want to keep. Okay, so yeah. Oh uh, no. It's a bunch. Okay, so I'm gonna actually move a couple items over to Jeff's inventory, though. So, for example, like the Broken Harmonica, we can give that to Jeff. And goods, we can give the um, Broken Trumpet to Jeff, too. So give that to Jeff. He has a full inventory, but it's okay. He repairs a lot of items and stuff, so it makes sense. So, Paula, Ness, Paula, and Pooh can also have plenty of storage, you know, for um, items down the road. Here's the library. It's very really close to where um, the drugstore and the, um, the burger shop was, I believe. So, yeah. Okay, um, hi. It's not necessary to turn the map, return the map now. Come back in the year 2001 to return it. So, this game came out in, like, 1995. So it's like foreshadowing. It's uh, they knew that 2001 would have happened six years later. Okay, if you go right in here, just check this. I think it's on the far left, but I want to show this off. There are books other than overcoming shyness. Uh, there are books other than overcoming shyness, and then the third one, you found the book of overcoming shyness in quotation marks, of course. Overcoming shyness. Ness got this shyness book. Good. That's what we came for, because we need to go back to um that. The t the Tenda Village or whatever it's called. It started with the T kinda it looked like Tenda. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go back there and uh, make sure they're not shy anymore. Ha ha ha. So let's go over here. I'm gonna use PSI uh teleport beta again. Um I need I just need a long straightaway, so hopefully I can find it. I think there was one over here with the trees and everything, but like it was just out of the way for everything else. It may have been over here. Yeah, here it is. Okay, cool. Just turn around like that. PSI teleport alpha. And let's go to, um, Tender Village, whatever it's called. Deep Darkness. It's on the third page, of course. The first one on the third page. Cool. Tender Village, here we go. Here we come. Nice. I'm so surprised we didn't hit that stop sign, but I guess we just nearly missed it. Uh, it doesn't count as, like, a item that could stop you. It could, but I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. Okay, so um, what you want to do is come in here and talk to this guy over here, the one that um said that oh the the book of shyness is a rumor and everything. So yeah, let's talk to him. Uh, I'm assuming his gender, so sorry <laughs> if he's a girl, if she's a girl, if he's a, I don't know. We're all shy. Rumor I heard a book to fix shyness. There is where don't know, just a rumor. Okay, I think we have to use it actually, like use it in front of him, like show him, I guess. <laughs> ah! Okay, that's the exclamation mark right there. Book! I can I can, can fix shyness, thanks. Relax, I, I'll read to everyone. Oh, just holding the book make in my hands makes me feel like I'm overcoming my shyness already. I'm, uh, I'll am i already take time to read it. I'll, I'm, I'll really take time to read it to everyone. And Tom's fast with fades to black. <laughs> the leader of the Tendus, Tender Tribe, I hope I'm saying that right, Tender Tribe, uh, read Overcoming Shyness to Everyone. 
Yeah, they put the book in title in quotations because that's what you have to do in like writing and stuff. Makes sense. Chat, chat, whisper, whisper. I'd like to give you some uh, tender runk in return. I don't even know how to say that word. Uh, tender krunk, uh, crunt, I don't know, um, is a type of dish that all tend to like. It stinks, but it tastes wonderful. Nest leads, uh, lends the leader of the Tender Tribe, the Book of Overcoming Shyness, in quotation marks again, and we get the um, weird food, the Tender Crunt, or whatever it's called. Okay. Oh my gosh, we haven't, we haven't seen him in a while, but he's kind of due to show up anyway, so whatever. Okay, pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photograph genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready? Say fuzzy pickles, fuzzy pickles! Never gets old, huh? Never, ever, 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 ever. Never, ever, 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 ever. Wow, what a great photograph. It always brings the fondest of memories. What if he gets dizzy, like, after, when he goes to bed, because he spins all day, basically, when he appears? I don't know. Hey, you. I have a happy little question for you. Okay, I read that. Cool. Giant Grotel. Giant Grotel. Are you, are you sure this is the correct player's name? If it's not, you can change it. <laughs> well, the player's actual real name is Steven. So I'll change it to Steven instead of Giant Grotel right now. So let me just type it in real quick. I know my, my name definitely fits. It's only seven characters. If only this could be like as many characters they allow in Smash games for your nickname. Like, again, I think in, yeah, my YouTube name, Giant Grotel, is like 11 characters, and Smash 4 for nicknames, they only give you 10 characters to work with at the most to use. So hopefully in Smash 5, they make it like 13 or something, but I don't know if that'll happen, because that's like an odd number to increase, but they might increase it, because they've increased it since like Melee. So Melee was 4 characters, Brawl was 5 characters allowed for a nickname, and then I think uh, Smash 4 was 10. So yeah, let's change the name to Steven, I guess. Cool. Steven. Are you sure it's what you want? Are you happy with the name? Of course, yes. Are you absolutely certain? Yes, I am. Yeah, I thought that you had made up your mind. Okay, cool. And, uh, yeah. I want to show off something real quick before I end the part. Um, instead of, like, giving this guy money for the shop and everything, because this is the, um, the item shop here. Let's talk to this guy here. I am, I like the Horn of Life. Give me the Horn of Life. I'll give you something. Look at the list. A plain roll. Uh, plain yogurt, plain roll, that's listed twice, <laughs> spicy jerky, bag of dragon, I, ooh, that's actually very helpful, uh, talisman coin, and hall of fame bat, I, I'm worried, I'm, I don't know, I have, whole, I have four hall, I have four, not hall of fames, but I have four horn of lives, but I don't know if I want to, I probably want to use one to get a bag of dragon because those are pretty cool, and they're very useful in boss battles, and then I don't know if the hall of fame bat's be better than the big league bat that Ness has right here, if I can just, got his equipment. Yeah, he has a big league bat right now, but I don't know if the Hall of Fame bat's better. It sounds better because, like, the, L the MLB Hall of Fame is, like, awesome. You're, you're very honored to get into it if you're, like, a hardworking athlete and play baseball player for the MLB. And the big league bat is just being in the big leagues for Major League Baseball, I guess, in that case. So I think Hall of Fame bat would be more powerful, but I'm not sure, honestly. And then I want to, I want to consider the Bag of Dragonites, too. Also, I'll put it... I said this in, like, the last part, I think, or maybe the last, last part. But you can buy Horn of Wife at Saturn Village for, like, $1,780 or something like that. It's $1,700-something dollars. Again, I'll put the price on screen. But, yeah, and it's really worth it because, it actually, you can't buy any Cup of Life noodles because you have to find them really in the game. But the Horn of Wife does the same thing where it revives a whole co-op's party member once and revives it guaranteed, actually, which is nice because you don't have to use Healing Gamma twice probably if you miss if it doesn't work the first time so yeah other than that i'm at a save point so i'm gonna stop right here so this one might let's find what's my part the next part will take on more of this village and hopefully explore more either outside of it or inside of it or do some fun stuff with it i don't know just have fun with these guys because they're not shy anymore they're rocking their worlds now that doesn't make sense, actually. Kind of makes sense, but yeah. So this has been Giant Go again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys next time. Earthbound, let's play.